Congressman is stepping in. Spectrum News 13 Stephanie Bachara reports U.S. Representative Darren Soto decided to get involved after seeing our reports about this issue. Michelle Peters is so frustrated about the orange and brown water coming out of her faucet. She's documenting her fight and that of many others for clear water on this website she created. I cleaned my bathroom real quick. I came back and my toilet was already orange in two hours. We've previously reported on how equipment failure two and a half years ago is causing St. Cloud clients to see murky water with resin come out of their tap. Congressman Darren Soto says he cares deeply about this issue and recently wrote a letter to the Environmental Protection Agency about the situation. He says that while resin is approved by the EPA, he wants technical assistance to test the water and make sure all the procedures being used are appropriate. The substance itself is approved, but we want to make sure in the levels that it's in, it's safe. Uh, and so uh, we'll be working with St. Cloud and with uh, EPA to make sure that the water's safe for residents. Soto also wants the EPA to provide financial assistance through their budget, block grants, or other federal funds. Money that can be used to get customers filters, he says, or perhaps reimburse the city of St. Cloud for a process they've been using lately called ice pigging to clean the water. Peter says her husband has been experiencing burning and itchy skin, making her question the water's safety. But their clothes are stained permanently. They can't get it out even with bleach. So it's, it's, if, if it's doing that to your appliances and your clothes, what do you, what could you possibly think it's doing to your kidneys and livers? Your common sense says it's, it can't be good. In Osceola County, Stephanie Bechara, Spectrum News 13.